Hello, I'm Rob Pugh and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be taking a look at my EDC bag. So EDC stands for Everyday Carry and I have got a fantastic bag to show you. So it's not photography related so this, well it can be, it actually can be, but this bag is your EDC bag is meant to be a small bag that you carry everywhere with you, day in, day out. It has your keys in, your mobile phone. Maybe it has um, a small laptop or an iPad in, and then gloves, hat, you know, things like that. So the important things that you need every single day. I must admit, I've been using this bag now for a while, and it is it is my absolute favourite bag, day in, day out to use. Uh, it's made by a company called Boundary and the actual bag name is called, excuse me, it's a bit of a tongue tie long name, it's the X-Pack Light Sling Pack, okay? If you head over to their website, I'll throw the website just down below here so uh, you can head over there and have a look. There is two forms of this, so I've got the bag here, I'm going to obviously show you what it looks like on and we'll go over all the, uh, the cool fun things about this bag. So, there's two iterations of this bag. This is what they call their X-Pack, and the difference is woven in, can you see the material? It's kind of got this X running through. You can see it all up here. Kind of got this X pattern running all through uh, the bag. Uh, all the zips are all seam zips. So this is extremely water resistant. I mean, you can have a, a big downpour of rain come all over the back, all the zips along here, they're all seam zips, so nothing's gonna get in there. Your stuff is going to stay extremely dry. And then, obviously, the, the second iteration of it is it's basically a material bag so it doesn't have this X pattern in and it's not as waterproof. I'm not going to say waterproof, water resistant, okay? So it's not as water resistant. It can still take a pound in but you know it may let on a really heavy downpour um, a bit of rain in. As where this one, this is absolutely built rugged to last. So I'm going to empty this bag out and then I'll show you as I, in fact let's Let's empty it out now and then we'll run over the features. So uh, let's have a look at what I actually carry day in, day out. Okay, so starting off on the outside of the bag, I only really have one attachment that I put on every one of my bags and it's this little fella. So it's a carabiner hook, I'm gonna unclip it. So it's a little carabiner hook, but it's got a, a unique, yeah, a very unique um, function on it. Again, you can just use it as a carabiner hook to pop it on things. But do you know when you're sitting uh, at the desk, you, you've got to a coffee shop, and let's face it, coffee shops aren't the cleanest uh, on the floor, and I don't really want to put my bag on the floor. So what this does, I will show you, it flips around the top part of the carabiner, opens up and then it turns into a hook. So now I can actually hook this on the side of the table and my bag doesn't actually go on the floor. Uh, absolutely love this. You can get these off Amazon. Again, I'll throw the link down below. So if you do want them, you can uh, head over to there and pick them up. And I have them on all my bags as well. And again, you can just unclip it in a simple little hook. Is that focusing? That's focusing. I might as well show you while I'm here. Flips around and turns into a proper little hook. So that's the first thing that's on the outside. Then we'll go obviously into the back. Now they do say it will fit a tablet in the back of this bag. Everyone normally does a, the the walk around the bag. I'm going to do what's in mine and then we'll do the walk around the bag. So they say on the website it will fit between um, sort of an iPad Pro up to a 13 inch laptop. I would say that's true. I've got an iPad Pro in my mind, it's an 11 inch iPad Pro. 
there's plenty of room in there to put the the 12 point um, is it a 12.9 plenty of room to put in there I do think it will fit a 13 inch but that is the absolute max I have the new 16 inch um, MacBook Pro and it doesn't fit in there okay so just to give you some size comparison the main thing is obviously the bag up here but it's smaller down at this end but the iPad fits in nicely I can just show you on the top we'll undo it the zips go to about there for getting into your your iPad sleeve the material inside it's a, a lovely soft material so it's not going to scratch anything in there at the top here you can see there they have two loops now they actually this loop here is meant for the Apple pencil just to slip into and then the top loop is just meant to hold uh, like a USB cable again remember this is a small backpack it's just meant to be something you throw on your shoulder and you're going to do a bit of light work with so my iPads in here fits in quite nice and easy with a case on and I'll just show you obviously you can see in there the depth going all the way down and it is padded at the bottom so if you do drop it anything in there is going to be protected so let's close that up then there's another zip right next to it you can see it just here it's pretty tucked away because it's got this lip that's over it as well. Open this up and then if you look into there, you've got a really nice padded compartment. And that compartment, it's about the depth of my hand, okay, that goes in there. And in there, I'd carry something like my AirPods, my phone, and then my, uh, my wallet as well, and a knife and fork. So we're obviously talking about uh, my EDC, so got to have something to listen to. My um, my Paddy, my uh, uh, my Apple iPad Pro, that is for working on the go. My wallet, so my wallet is from Nomad. Oh, beautiful leather smell. Simple uh, wallet, I just have the cards I use every day, but then on the back here, this is a bit of magic for you, you're gonna love this. I pull this out, size of a credit card. This is from Go Sun. This is their uh, their flatware, and it is. There's my spoon, and there's my fork. So this is also a knife on there, but it's uh, a knife and fork and a spoon. There's nothing worse when you're eating, you know, plastic utensils or anything like that. Or, you know, you get, um, I mean, we was in Hong Kong, me and my wife. Uh, we went into this shop, we bought some food. They didn't have any, you know, cutlery to take away with you. So we was, we was eating it with a spoon in the end. Um, that's why I decided to get that. And we've always got a knife and fork with us no matter where we are. We do travel an awful lot. I'll put all the links down below. So that's what we're carrying here. Obviously my phone um, as well, so my phone is an i uh, an iPhone, which one is it now? It is the 11 Pro Max, uh, so I carry that around with me. I do have the um, DJI OM4 gimbal for it, so that's what this is on the back, that's the mag magnet attachment that goes onto it. Um, and that would come in this bag as well, because you never know when you wanna create some content on the go. That's in the top part. Now, for the side compartments, it does have a zip just here, and it runs the full length. There is two zips, one's on either side. They both enter the same compartment. So I'm gonna open that up so you can see in there. So it does have some sort of organizer in there. You can put your phone in there. Uh, there's slots for some pens as well. And there's also their magnetic key tab that's at the top. So I'm just gonna pull mine out so you can see. Okay, there you go. So that's their own magnetic key tab. So it's got a loop so you can attach it obviously to your belt if you want. Um, but if you want to, up in there nice and safe, it clicks into place, your keys are going to stay there. And again, for my, uh, my keys, I always have a tile on there. 
So if I lose my keys, I can find my uh, keys with my phone or vice versa. If I've left my phone somewhere and I don't know where it is, I can press this and it will ring my phone. I've also got my keys in this leather bound loop. And again, there's always something hidden in everything that I carry. So we've got my normal keys, but again, you have this special unique key there. So it's a, a bottle opener, it's a little wrench in there as well. Uh, you, you just never know when you need uh, that little special tool. Um, again, I'll pop the links to all this down below. So that is my uh, daily carry, gets me uh, in and out the house and out of trouble if I need to. Then I've got my car keys in here. I always keep them separate. So obviously I don't need my car keys to open my car. Uh, as long as it's in the vicinity of the car, then the car will open up. And I've got my little Batman figurine on the bottom. Gotta love a Batman um, uh, key ring. Uh, so that just stays in there. So I don't need to keep pulling it out. And I think we've got the mask so again as we do we all need a mask today so that's uh, thrown in there that's it for that side but if I do open up the other side then in the other side again I'm going to try and show you these pockets can you see uh, there we go so you can see the organization in there and right at the top can we get into that black loop there we go you can see it that's where your keys attach to that black um, loop that's at the top it's a magnetic loop so my last bit of gadget in this pocket is this it may look like a carabiner but it's not so what this is again it's a bottle opener it's a wrench here and then little hex there you can hear them so I've got a flat head and a posi drive that just pops out goes in there so I've always got a screwdriver if I need it and then this little nip just there that's for opening bo uh, boxes up don't want to carry a knife uh, around me because nowadays uh, here in the UK it's uh, illegal to carry knives around if you jump on a plane you forget about it then you get into trouble as where well. one of these that opens all my boxes up everything like that um, and it's actually built into the little tool. I'll put a link down below to this as well. Uh, very handy, use it all the time, wouldn't be without it. Main compartment's done. Let's sit that up. Now, going in to the bag itself, it's got one of the fit locks, okay? So these are just magnetic locks. That is so satisfying to do that. So it's just got a little pull tab and then you just lift it up and it's open, we can get into it. And then when you want to close it, it closes itself. I love that, let's just do it again. And just so you can hear it. I, I love it, I love it. Um, you can lengthen or decrease the capacity of the bag as well. Very, very nice little trick. So let's get into this. This lifts up and you can see it's quite flat and it always stays like that. So you've got a little opening there um, that you get into, but watch this. There you go. So now I've got the full, let's put this on its side. So you can see the opening there, here, just there. You might be able to see it. There's magnets. So if you're not using the full capacity of the bag, there we go. It actually folds down. So have you he ever had the bags? Pete Design has got a, I've got a love-hate relationship with their bags. It's a brilliant bag, but their flap at the top, when you fold it over, if you don't fold it over right, the edges stick out and rain can actually get in through the top. But what Boundary's done, you can see there we've got it open, but if I want more room, I pull it, it expands out, that is the, uh, the capacity you can expand it out to. But as soon as you go to shut it, magnet shut. So these edges then will always be sealed. They're never gonna let rain pour in. And then you've got that extra 
See how it folds down? So now it's folded across. Nothing is going to get into that, no water. Um, which when I'm carrying electrical kit in there, I want to know it's safe. So I love the fact of that. But it just doesn't stop there. So let's open it up. I'll give you a little peek inside. We'll open it. And you can see there, so the main compartment, it is just a compartment. There's no pockets in there. You can just drop everything in. Now I carry, this is my Frank Green mug. So these are probably the best mugs you can buy. You can see there, little, um, pop that, drink out of it. When you've done, let it go, okay? The reason for this is inside it's enamel coated, okay? It's all metal, the lid is plastic, uh, but it is um, watertight when you put it on and press the button, nothing drips out of there. Press the button, you can drink straight out of it. The main thing to buy a Frank Green um, mug is, because they're enamel coated inside, it's basically tasteless, okay? So when you have a really nice cup of coffee or a tea, or maybe you're um, a, a lover of fruit tea, if you have it in plastic or the, the you know the plastic mugs or normal sort of excuse me normal metal mugs you get this metallicy taste or a plasticky taste of it but because this is the way it's coated there's zero taste contamination that's what I'm going to say so you can enjoy a proper cup of coffee or you know your fruit tea and get the real flavors from it so uh, I would definitely recommend one of these. Again, I'll throw the link down below. Wow, so uh, a video about a bag has now turned into my uh, my daily EDC. How about that? Let's throw that up on the main title. Um, what else do I carry in here? I've got my trusty hat because we want to keep my head warm with all this hair that I've got. <laughs> and we've, um, we've also got a pair of gloves and then I also carry a small, a small bag within a bag, just in case I'm going home and I want to do uh, any shopping. So that's just uh, a simple material Vans bag that's just thrown into the bottom. Now, that's everything. So let's show you. If you're not a big carrier of uh, stuff, but you just want a bag to carry around with you, look how thin it goes. Because I've took everything out, on the edges here, I'm gonna prise this open so you can see. See that? Lift, let's lift it. Oh. So if I lift that up, it will fill to that capacity, but if you're not using anything, the magnets will close it. So here, you see that, how it's closing back down? My hand is not in the way. Perfect, you can actually just see the round magnet just here. So, if you've got nothing in your bag, it will always be flat, because of the two magnets built in the top and the two magnets built into the bottom. If you're not using it, it will stay flat on your back, okay? Nice and easy like that. I, I really do love that design. Looking around the bag, before I show you what it looks like on, you've got a handle here, so you can actually hold it like a, a briefcase if you're walking around, or if it's just a quick grab and you grab it, then a briefcase here. Uh, you've got a handle on the top and you've also got a handle here as well. Now that's three handles all around the bag. So if you're like me and you do travel a lot and you throw it in the overhead, it's a nice, you know, no matter which way it goes, you can just grab the handle and pull it out, especially if you pack it tight. Now, when it comes to the back, it's a really comfy um, uh, backpack. You've got the boundary logo down here. You've got a sweat patch for um, airflow to come through. And then you've got these comfy pads here. These are very well ventilated, very comfy. And then you've got a single strap because, you know, this is a sling, okay? So you've got a single strap They've redesigned the clasp on here as well. So if you went for one of their um, earlier bags, this metal piece was a bit smaller and it had a tendency to slip through, but they've redesigned 
the metal piece to be a bit larger and then it's got a secure popper that comes over and fastens in so it can't go anywhere. Again, these are all magnet closing. You've got a fid lock here as well for easy takeoff of the bag if you just want to do it one handed. And then this is a secure strap. Um, maybe you're uh, going on your bike and you don't want it moving around or sliding around to the front, then you connect this up. But I'm gonna show you how it looks on as well. Um, I think what I will do is I will show you what it looks like on with nothing in and then I will show you what it looks like on with everything in it. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at that. So looking at the bag, how it's on, the sling part comes across and is coming down. This is the security strap coming around as well. Now, one of the things I really like about boundary, boundary bags is normally when you have straps, they dangle everywhere. Um, and on this side, you can see here, Normally on a strap, this would be sort of dangling down here, but what they've actually done, you can see just there, every strap has a security loop. So it will always stay flush to your body. You can see the loop here. It's never gonna fall out and be dangling down. So everything, even if it's to there, it will always stay where the strap is. And I love that feature, really nice and neat. Again, with this, the adjustable strap, it's always attached to the main strap. So it stays nice and neat. And I think you'll agree, it looks nice and neat as you're walking along. You're not gonna get any dangling straps caught in anything. So, just say you didn't want to have this strap on. Personally, myself, I actually don't. So, all you do is you push. Because they're magnets, Attached, slide it, release. Attached, not going anywhere, very secure. To release, just slide and it's released. So let's just take this part off. As you can see on the bottom, all the straps are hooked on with this little mechanism. So we can actually release this, slide it off and detach that. That means you can have the sling go on the left or right side. It's entirely up to you. I like to just throw it over so the sling is on my pack. But if you wanted it to face the other way, so coming across um, sort of this way, then you would just swap the eyes at the bottom. Another way of taking it off, the fid lock, instead of pulling over your head, maybe you've got a big coat on, the fid lock, lift up, release, slide the bag off, okay? And then to put it on, it's just a simple matter of throwing it over and because it's a magnetic, that's it. Job done. As easy as that. So let's, <laughs> I'll come down to here. So let's fill the bag up and let's show you what it uh, looks like with a bit of load in it. Okay, so the bag is loaded up, so now I can show you what it looks like with a bit of load into it.
So, there you go, my EDC everyday uh, carry bag from Boundary. The X-Pack Arclight Sling Pack. Um, absolutely, I love this bag to bits and it truly does come everywhere, everywhere with me every single day. But it doesn't stop there. Just before we uh, end this, um, this video, they do an abundance of bags and I've got to say they are so well built and well thought out as well. So make sure you check out my other rev review. Okay, so this is the backpack version, but this is actually my camera bag. So you can see uh, on the back, hey presto, we've got a hook here. Um, so uh, I use that. I'll go into a lot more detail in the next video about this bag and what it can hold. But just to give you a little teaser, this does hold a, a full 16 inch MacBook Pro laptop. Um, it's modular inside as well. So you can have it again, so it's quite flat and there's um, hardly anything in it. But if you wanna carry your photography gear or cameras, you can actually put a cube in the bottom to hold all your lenses and cameras or you can have your lenses in the top and another cube can go um, in the top part to put your camera in there for quick access through uh, the top as well. But I'm not gonna talk any more about that one because that's another video to, uh, to do. So there you go, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this short video. Hopefully it's been short. Um, any questions, throw them down below. I'd love to answer them. Uh, I always do read the comments down below and I'll throw as many links as I can remember down below for, for you to uh, have a look at. And of course, do please hit that like button. It really does help me out to make these videos for you as well. I don't get given all this equipment. I purchase it myself. And that way, it's a more of a, a good, honest review because I can say whatever I like about the equipment. But I can only do that if you hit that like button and you give us a follow, help support the channel, use the links down below. They will be affiliated um, links from Amazon. Uh, so uh, any bit I get helps go towards buying more kit to review for you. So thanks a lot, you take care and come back soon.